wonder something is controlling that monster. <laughs> What's interesting is that uh, if you did that classic Sonic stage age second, and then Vector would have said the same thing. And he doesn't even say anything different about Sonic and Kileo. So that's interesting. And here, really, throughout the, well, the last two characters we saved are just kind of in filler places that just to fill up spot, slots to yourself. Well, because we've had. Because mm -hmm. we. For the most part, each character we saved made sense from the from the stage we saved them from. And well, well, I guess not really for Tails and Amy, <laughs> but but Knuckles kind of did because he saved them from the game he uh, was. Come on, <laughs> he, that he was originally his first appearance in. Well, first playable in, depending on how you look at it. And Queen made sense in Speed Highway because she was in the DX version of Sonic Adventure. Blue Shit made sense in City Escape because that's the game she first appealed in. Espio made sense in Seaside Hill because he was in, was in Sonic Heroes. And Play Camp, for Play Tech. Oh, so close to getting up there. Oh, but yeah. But yeah, you kind of get the idea then. And now on last stage of the of the main stages that is, which is, which is on Planet Wisp, when we got the Spike Wisp heal, and we only get to use the Spike Wisp and not any of the other Wisp. This and it does have some cool new mechanics that aren't in colors, so it's cool. Oh, and when you just press Y again whenever you want to get out of it. And the interesting thing is that all the games I did before. Uh, that uh, the stages we played before this, well, games I done for actually done let's plays on. Well, I have not done a let's play on Sonic Colors yet, so that's something, thing interesting, thing because uh, ha, ha, it's interesting, thing. But it's also kind of funny and what kind of for the best I didn't do a let's play of Colors before, or this because. Sonic Colors Ultimate came, recently came out, and I've been playing that, and it's also kind of fitting, fitting that I've played that first before this, because it's almost like I'm just playing the games in chronological order, <laughs> so it's kind of like one way to think, kind of funny that way. Okay, so I'll probably do a Let's Play of Sonic Colors Ultimate later next year or so, oh, so oh, that way I'll just finish the, the game. I'll get that one, because that way you seems like a good Sonic game I'll do next year, because I don't really see anything, any other Sonic games I could let's play you next year. Here, so. Oh, what? So, there's definitely a lot of new mechanics here, as you can see here, like, there were these certain, like, there were certain locks that the Spike Whisk can break. Like, there was these, these, like, fan things and cylinders that said can be activated. And, uh, uh, Spike Wisp touches them, oh man, such so, oh yeah, that definitely does some new things in the stage to make it feel, uh, the Wisp feel a little bit new, oh, you when know, it's the only stage in the game that brings back the Wisp, despite the fact that the Wisp have been returning in every mainline Sonic game af af after Colors, was with, I think Azuka said that he wanted them to be a stable power-up of the series, and I remember hearing him say some at one point that some of the West stayed while the you know, others went back to their old home. Um, so I don't remember where that was said, but I know I heard that somewhere before. Oh, so there's that, and I honestly don't mind the West returning thing, but oh, right, <laughs> right, right, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't mind the West returning thing. Like if you're gonna have them return, just make. Make them, I like to at least them be control well and feel fun. And, and so, they didn't make sense for them to return in Lost World because they just felt like they just needed power ups. Uh, so, oh, but hey, I did like how some things they did to the Wisp in, in Lost World, like the Rocket Wisp, how you can actually aim on where you want to go as opposed to just, 
who how it was and is what we're gonna see in Act Two and and how it was in the original. It, 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 oh, it's well, you just go straight up and you can't don't can't really aim. Ah. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, there still be a few things. Oh, and they definitely did add some new West in Lost World, like the asteroid list is one. Like the what else? What else is there? Can't remember. Oh, the Venom West and the Eagle West. There's even a few that were in the 3DS version, like the Lightning West and the Quake West. And and then Team Sonic Racing they introduced the Jade Ghost West. That, which they even brought, brought used for Sonic Colors Ultimate. Heck, I kinda wish they did bring back more West from Lost World World into Colors Ultimate so you could you to show you this this is what all the West can do. <laughs> oh, but then again they would have had to create probably new levels or a new area or so, but uh, if they did do that, that would have been a really cool one. This last part here can be kind of tricky to do because you have to get all these there, activate all these at once, and, and so because in order if you don't, then and then oh god, and if you don't, then you won't be able to continue on to the uh, pass that part. That part there can be a little tricky. You but mm, it's all right. And, and such so I will agree that the stage does drag on pretty long kind of long. But for both modern and classic, but I can see why, because this is the last main stage of the game. And so I can see why. <laughs> but I feel like if you're gonna have a stage to do that, I feel like it would make been a little more fitting if it was a stage later on, like from at Asteroid coaster or, or something, but mm, that's just me. <laughs> and also, if you get all five red rings in the stage, you, the ability you will, oh, a skill you will unlock is the homing attack for Classic Sonic, which is pretty cool. Who and definitely can help out, out make some of the platforming a little easier. Okay, so. So now on to Act Two. Who would honestly I do quite this, like? Honestly, do really like this act. Hmm. Heck, I would say it's even the be better than some of the stages that were in col a few of the stages that were in the original colors. Who is what? I was one of the most to me, and like was that would be one of my favorite zone uh, uh, zones in Sonic Colors. I mean, like I didn't hate it. Probably my second or third least favorite. Probably because of the level design, honestly. <laughs> but the music's great. Don't give me the wrong on that. I'll get uh, the music is great. I'll give it that. You're that. Yeah, and I'm referring to the original for for the music because the ultimate they just kind of uh, yeah yeah remix, remix it, which it doesn't sound bad in ultimate. It sounds good for the most part. Alright, so yeah, that. Then again, that's just me. <laughs> me, so. And those are, there were Eggman Springs there, and if you hit them, they'll just automatically take you to the next rail, so you don't have to jump to them. But it is a little bit slower. Eh? So. Oh, it's. Yeah. And so far, we haven't seen any of the machine parts here. You know, that, uh, the, that are turning Planet West into Eggman Spring Park. Alright, <laughs> so. It would have been kind of cool if they even had a stage that was just dedicated to just being, being all like this, with all grassy fields and such. It would have been cool if, I, if they did that for Act 1 and then going straight into Act 2. Who so? Oh, with all, like, all the battle stuff here, so that would have been cool. But anyway, here we are. Now here we are in all the machinery parts. Ah, and as you saw, Rocket Mist was here. Deal with, which for the most part it operates pretty much the same as it did in Cutler's, except the only difference is that you can't skydive uh, as soon as you get out of it. Oh, and also it has like a charge feature now, which is pointless. Just like, like you see here, 
you hold Y, Y, and it's telling you to charge. But if you hold Y too long, you just kicks you, it just kicks you out of the wisp, uh, 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 which is interesting. Cause you think if I get, if you hold Y to charge, you would just you would get constantly get hit. No, <gasps> no, it it would charge up a stronger blast that would launch you higher. You know, but no, it's just kind of there. A pointless thing, for the most part. But maybe they were originally planning on doing something unique with it, but they didn't. But I guess they were kind of saving it for Lost World, because as I mentioned earlier, they made it to where you actually aim where you want to go with the rocket wrist, which I thought was pretty cool. So I honestly prefer that that over the that the best out of all the rocket wrist that was used. Used, but yeah. Yeah, but I don't think every wisp, wisp that was in Lost World was the greatest. There's like, the Druid Wisp was pretty much the same as it was before. Well, Asteroid was cool, but the motion control was with, tilting with the motion controls felt a little awkward. Or, or, but Rhythm Wisp was interesting, but, mm, you know, I just didn't like how you had to keep touching the screen to move on and not moving just left or right. Well, other than laser way they are too, but I think for the most part they were exactly the same as they were for Julian. I don't know how they different they are in the 3DS version because I haven't played that yet. But I'm gonna get that soon just to see how bad that game is. <laughs> so and yeah, we have riding on these things here on this conveyor belt in. Oh God! That end. Oh, oh god! I realized I had no wings. <laughs> Probably would have killed me too. But yeah, just hold X and you can go faster and you can destroy your enemies in front of you. Oh. Okay, that's what. I could use some wings now. Oh, but I don't, don't see any wings. Oh well, I don't need a wing. Because there were wings right here, but no. <laughs> So up we go. Okay. At least you can just go. It's kind of. That's a nice thing I do appreciate that you could actually just go over the uh, checkpoint and still get it. Which this wasn't the first game that did that. I think uh, Unleashed did it at first. Maybe Colors, but I can't remember. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. So just running these conveyor belts here. <laughs> Like if Sonic can make those go faster, why not the egg ponds? Why can't they do that? I don't know. <laughs> but what I do know is that we're, we're at the home stretch of the level here. Well, all we're doing is just using the rocket wrist to go up to charge through this stuff. And over here is when it starts getting interesting. In here, when well, oh, the roof is gonna start coming down on you, and it's gonna try to crush you and. So you want to be fast, and if you, and the game will always make sure you will get, you, you, that you will always get the, mm, a rocket wrist in a spot that you can get it before you get crushed. So, because if it gets too close to you, what will happen is that, if, and if you try to take it off, you can push the wall back up so you can have, give yourself more time to get it, it to have another shot and making it up there again. Which, that's honestly a really cool idea, and I honestly do like that. Uh, yeah, it's, but anyway, it's over now. That's it for the stage. <laughs> and there we go. Cleared all the stages. <laughs> and now we just have six more challenge acts, and then the boss area of the area, and then now we have the area.
And yeah, it's Charlie B. Which is voiced by Carl Lionel Shaughnessy with the Cohen voice actor of Tails and that fact she still voices Charlie Me B. Back made her sound she made him sound different in and by the way, silver up here, but before we go there, you can see a shadow right there. But as I was mentioning earlier, or it was, but it's not appealing anymore. But for some reason enforces. Wow, I'm just trying to get up here because I want to show off something off that I meant to show earlier. What was that? <laughs> I boost into that, but it wasn't there, but and I still bounce off of it, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Now, but yeah, for some reason, enforces calling calling your shot as he made. By the way, he was silver. But he made uh, Charlie Me sound a little bit more like a girl. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe just to make him sound different, because her Charlie Me in this game is similar to Tails to, to her, her Tails, but that's just me. Stanley, is that really you, or are you some kind of fit, fake scent for the chaos involved? But anyway. We have a rival fight here with Silver. Alright, so now we have a fight with Silver here, which is on the back in place to see. In the evening, but this fight's honestly pretty cool and cool. So, get someone's gonna be picking up a bunch of stuff and just telekinetic and like power powers of a whole bunch of cars and debris. And we have the homing attack them to get up to him. And so, and what? So, yeah, he's gonna drop down one first, then three there. And, and he's gonna. Here's the other way how do you attack and he's gonna send a whole pile of junk at you and you just boost across it and then bam. And if you stomp by it after, you're still all on it and even though it's not there. And you can run into the stuff without boosting. I, I tend to do that sometimes just to because save my boost energy for the last hit. But I just wanna show you can do that. Uh, so, oh there's that. <laughs> It's all one giant looping high highway here. He went. I did mention this boss boss some in uh, in my let's play of home six. So let's do that deal and oh, man. oh I touched the very end of it right there. Oh okay I got okay you could have jumped way too early. Green. Yeah, there was a hard version of this fight here. Well, the only difference I can really see is that him throwing up, dropping all three of those things at once when right before he says, or right as he says, give up. And the hard version difference in Shadow Fight is you have to collect three instead of two. Who so? Those are the only differences I can see. And, oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. So now all the stuff's chasing us, and yeah, I wanted to save my boost energy for this, but I can't. So, just one homing attack, and that's it. And a little thing that some, not pe any people will know about Silver actually gets dragged behind you, you after he gets hit by that. Like, you can see him right there. <laughs> he'll, he'll just right behind Sonic. <laughs> well, he can't anymore, <laughs> because. <laughs> How Sonic said it's blocking him. <laughs> that's an, an interesting thing. <laughs> but hey, that's the fight. And we got ourselves oh, six chaos emotes out of um, out of all seven. So we have one more to go. And, and so now for the challenge X. Okay, so now for this one here we have Vector being able to uh, throw us here with all this block on. Oh, this outline here then just throws us there. Yes, yeah, so that's how this works. Kind of similar to that thing, the one with Amy will skip, makes Sonic jump and then hammers us up. Uh, so, 
I'm telling you, it's wasted for the most part. I heard so. Oh. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Uh, in, in this case here, I think. No, never mind. I probably you bounced off the walls here, but no, you don't. Hmm. Well, you know that line did get it gets reused in in Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo. Nope. Not, not there. Okay, yeah, you can press B to get out of it. Good. So, so that's good. You you're at least not stuck in it as soon as you activate it. It's that's good. Hmm. Good. So. Whoa, I, I wasn't trying to aim for that. I didn't even know that was there because I don't remember. I don't pay attention too much to these challenge acts that much. You only, well, but except there was one that we're going to be coming up to soon, which is kind of hard. <laughs> hard to do. And I want to agree it involves Vector. Oh, and let's get down to the cannon. For some reason they decided to include pinball ball aspects in this. <laughs> so let's get through the end and that will help a lot. Oh god, the wind's picking up! No, 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 come on! It, it slid me over there, even though I wasn't touching the stick. Okay, well, well luckily there's checkpoints, so that's good. It's also a good thing that the wind doesn't kill you while on. Uh, on past the uh, those parts, uh, uh, kill you forward or back when you're in the back when Vector's killing you. You so I'll give it. I just want to turn around, but the wind's just there. We go. So, jeez, forget. I don't remember this being that annoying. <laughs> but, but anyway, we're back to where we were. Come on! Uh, I just want to have full control, but the wind keeps messing me up. Uh, that's just kind of the issue with it. Good view. But oh well. At least we're now at the end. I mean, if I didn't die there, I would have had the S rank. Oh well. <laughs>